you'd be surprised how much you can buy with $20 in Cameroon. I decided to challenge myself to spend $20 for a day in one of the most expensive cities in Cameroon, Yaoundé. I aim to spend on transport, food and finding something recreational to do for the day. My first target was finding something recreational to do and since I've never been horse riding before, I decided that would be probably a good thing to try out in Yaoundé. The taxi fare cost 500 francs and that was from our present location to the zoo where the horses are. I also share short reviews of the different places that we go to today. Alright, so this zoo was in an area in Yaoundé called Mvokbesi. Oh my gosh! It cost 500 francs to get into the zoo. I was with someone else. You guys will meet him later on in the video. Someone real special to me. Um, but then the cost in this video is just per person. So we paid 500 francs. I don't know if I've mentioned on this channel before. I'm not very fond of zoos because I just believe animals don't belong in captivity. I mean, if it's a nature reserve, it's much better because at least the animals can roam freely. But zoos are somehow limiting to their freedom it makes me sad seeing animals in captivity so anyway we came here because i've never been on a horse before and i wanted to do horse riding i was glad to see that the horses looked well taken care of well from the look of them they didn't look malnourished to me so that was a good sign we paid 1000 francs for the horse ride and what i can say is just be mindful of the distance you ride because that will detect your cost I was honestly terrified, I'm not gonna lie. No, 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 I don't, I don't. Oh my god. With all the panic and curiosity, it had to take two grown men to lead me on the horse. But you know what? The important thing here is the experience, guys. It's the experience. So, my first impressions of the zoo, because I've never been here before, it's just a um, we haven't gone around yet, but just from the look of things, it's very quiet, very serene, and then most importantly, it's very, very neat. Like, this place is so neat. So I appreciate the fact that it looks well taken care of. Alright, so let's quickly check out some of the animals that you can find at the zoo. <laughs> I've seen some crazy animals out here, oh my god. Hey, literally never seen a baboon this big in my life. Oh my god, they are massive. I think there are a lot of baboons here because, I mean, this is a... Uh, a, a, a tropical country and you do find a lot of these in the forest so it makes sense that majority of the animals that they have here are primate related animals come let's see this i think this is this is the monkey that was in the lion's king this was um the lion's king's uh, sangoma sangoma witch doctor the witch doctor and the lion's king yeah it looks so scary oh my god i'm scared i've never seen oh. You're a lady, so he's trying to he's trying to woo you, you know? You see? See that? <laughs> Although I enjoyed the little moments with this monkey, I couldn't help but wish that it was in the wild, in the forest where it belonged. Guys, I'm just getting some deja vu right now. The monkeys that are in here are the kind that we have in South Africa, the ones that literally roam the streets. It's only in South Africa where it's perfectly normal to see monkeys roaming around and eating aloe vera. <laughs> but this is actually perfectly normal. In certain parts of South Africa, they do roam free. So long as you mind your business, they mind their business and you just get along. UK ZN students, if you're watching this, you know what I'm talking about. If you stayed, if it's a marriage with KZN, these are the monkeys we have in our backyard. Come and see. In many regions of South Africa that were previously forest and inhabited by these monkeys, you can still find them roaming around houses and streets freely. I would never forget the day when I was still in high school and we had English, you know, we were doing English classes and a monkey literally walked into the classroom, went to the bin, took out a, a already eaten apple and walked out. <laughs> That's the kind of freedom that these monkeys have in South Africa, fam. <laughs> So, after one crocodile and a peacock and cute little chicks being fed to snakes later, we came across a lion being fed. And yes, I said chickens being fed to snakes. I just felt like I needed to re-highlight this, this point. They feed the cute little chickens to the snakes, y'all. I feel traumatized. 
while I recover from my trauma, this zookeeper mm -hmm. just entered a lion's den to feed this roaring lion. Mm -hmm. <sighs> and as I was still trying to recover from that, I turned around to find another zookeeper in the same cage as a hyena. Guys, hyenas are extremely, extremely, oh my goodness. All right, so after The animals are well fed. Actually, majority, in fact, all the animals that we saw were literally chubby, fat, and rolling with adiposity. <laughs> but um, some of them were in cages, which uh, well, it's a zoo, it's a zoo, and that's the part that I don't like. Um, but for the health of the animals, we had a veterinary clinic there, a veterinary clinic for animals, which was quite nice. And like I said, they, they were quite fat and well fed so for that part at least i have to say that they're good and good job so am i filming on the road right now yes is it safe i don't know <laughs> i think it's safe so i just wanted to give you guys my final impression um, just as we left the zoo, we spotted and bought a packet of tiger nuts. I don't know the best way to describe tiger nuts, but they basically taste like, let's say, mini coconuts. Yeah. So far, I had not even spent up to half of $20 and we were already getting into evening time. We decided to have pizza for supper at a restaurant called Pizza Roma and it's in Bastos which is one of the more expensive parts of Yaoundé. And the transport fare was 600 francs. So being very curious, you know how I am, I decided to check out some reviews of this place. So let's look at some reviews together. After reading all the reviews, I was definitely excited to check out this place. Bastos is to Yaoundé as Santon is to Johannesburg. So it really has you know, nice views surrounding. Just stepping out of the taxi, I could already appreciate the beautiful views. <laughs> With the help of the waiter, I finally figured my way around the menu. So basically, you can order a margarita pizza, small, medium or large size, and then you have to pay extra for your toppings. So for the large size, which I took, it cost 4,500 francs. And then the topping, which I paid for, was bacon, and that was 1,000 francs. The interior of the place was really beautiful and I like how they put so many different seating areas if you wanted formal, if you wanted informal and then there were loads of TVs as well and also a children's area if you had kids. Honestly, I would give this pizza a 10 out of 10. It smelled and looked so so good. Builded ordered a chicken pizza and his was a medium size, so the price was different. No, you can ask for water to wash your hands. That's fine. This was the most I spent on, but there was still a little bit more change to still purchase something else. Mm. Mm. Milkshakes. Milkshakes. So we ordered a mint flavored milkshake and guys, I cannot believe how tasty this thing was. It came with a spoon and some ice and I've never tasted anything so yummy. I won't even exaggerate. It cost 1,500 francs.
so with twenty dollars you can definitely have a good time in yaounde cameroon actually food is even much cheaper i'm talking about authentic cameroonian food a plate of gary and aero for example could go for one thousand francs so this is an exceptional day where we were eating pizza but if you're eating authentic cameroonian food it will actually be much cheaper than a plate of pizza so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you learned something new please like please subscribe if you know yet subscribe thank you guys so much for always interacting with my videos i'll see you guys in the next one bye